If you're interested in learning a new programming language, maybe that's because you're just starting out learning to code or you've been around a while and you'd like to expand your skill set. Stay tuned because in this video I will share with you five really cool things that you can build with C Sharp that make me think that C Sharp is the most interesting and flexible platform around today. Welcome along, my name is Chris Roberts and this is Roberts Dev Talk. Now C Sharp isn't a new technology, it's been around since about the year 2000, but in recent years it's just been going from strength to strength. In 2014 it was open sourced and then its compiler Roslyn was open sourced as well. Along with its natural companion .NET Core, it is now completely across platform. So you can find C Sharp code running on Windows, of course, but on Mac, Linux, iPads, tablets, TVs, even in the browser. Now you may have guessed that C Sharp is my favorite language. And in this video, I will show you five really cool things you may not have known about that you can build with it that should give you a bit of inspiration and maybe some ideas of your own to get started. Let's go. Now the first cool thing that you can make with C Sharp is games. Now back when I was learning to code back in the heady days of the late 90s, in order to work with any kind of serious game engine, you need to know your way around C++. Now C++ is great, but it is unforgiving to say the least. Thankfully that's no longer a requirement. Now the Unity game engine allows you to write games with C Sharp. Unity is a powerful and industry grade game engine that's been behind hundreds of commercial titles across Windows, Mac, mobile, console and even VR. It's the game engine behind a number of successful indie titles such as Subnautica, Outer Wilds and Firewatch. Unity uses C Sharp as its scripting language, so that means all of your game mechanics will be written in C Sharp, whether that's play interaction with the world, physics, enemy AI, scoring and so on. Now you'll use Unity Studio to build your world and attach C Sharp scripts to game objects. It's really easy to get started and it's free too. There's links below to plenty of resources that you can use to learn Unity and some inspiration too. The second cool thing that you can build with C Sharp is mobile apps. Now back in the day, it was a real pain to build mobile apps for iOS and Android because you had to build and maintain multiple code bases. So now with C Sharp, you can use Xamarin Forms to create a cross-platform code base that runs on both iOS and Android, including user interface. There is still some platform specific code that you need to write. However, the next generation of framework MAUI or multi-platform app UI will reduce this even further and result in much lighter, faster and more efficient mobile apps. You'll also be able to write apps for Windows and Mac as well using one shared code base. Now, I've been using Xamarin Forms for about six years now. I'm a really big fan. It's just come on leaps and bounds since you first started. However, I'm really looking forward to Maui because this looks like a really exciting way to build mobile apps in the future. If you're interested in creating mobile apps using Xamarin and Maui, check out links below to get started. The third thing that you can build with C Sharp is web apps. Now C Sharp has always been a great choice for building web apps with the ASP.NET framework. And in recent years, ASP.NET Core has taken that one step further. It's lightweight, it's easy to use, and it's really highly modular. However, those frameworks only really work on the back end, on the server. You've been able to build some user interface in the past with Razor, but this was only really for binding static content and the HTML code was actually built on the server. Now, however, thanks to the magic of WebAssembly, you can run C Sharp directly in the browser with Blazor WebAssembly. With Blazor WebAssembly, you get native performance and can build live interactive web applications running C Sharp directly in the browser. Now, Blazor WebAssembly can run with any backend. You don't have to use ASP.NET Core, but if you do, the advantage is that you share code all the way up the stack. So if you have code on your backend that represents items from a database, for example, you can reuse that same code in the browser with Blazor. There's links down below to get started with Blazor and ASP.NET Core. The fourth cool thing that you can build with C Sharp is machine learning and AI. Now in recent years, you've not been able to move without tripping over some kind of AI related buzzword. But to be honest with you, the hype is kind of deserved. AI and machine learning are the technologies behind some very impressive technologies such as voice assistants like Siri and Alexa, the YouTube algorithm that brought you this video and autonomous vehicles or otherwise known as self-driving cars. And with ML.NET, you can use C Sharp to build and train machine learning models. And the purpose of machine learning is essentially to teach software to make independent decisions not based on pre-programmed algorithms. For example, if I were to show a machine learning model 100,000 pictures of some things that are cats and some things that are not cats, the idea being that once that model is trained, 
You can then show it a picture of something else it's never seen before and it can determine whether or not what it sees is or is not a cat. Now these independent decisions mimic intelligence and of course not general intelligence, that's thankfully quite a long way off still. So if you're interested in dabbling at the bleeding edge of software engineering and building machine learning models and artificial intelligence, then check out ml.net where you can write and build machine learning models in C Sharp. Now the fifth really cool thing that you can build with C Sharp is IoT and robotics. Now since the Raspberry Pi kicked off a bit of a maker revolution back in 2012, interest in IoT and robotics has only increased. And now C Sharp with its companion .NET are completely cross-platform, you can build IoT solutions on your Raspberry Pi using .NET Core. Now, if the Raspberry Pi isn't quite small enough for you, check out the .NET Nano framework, which is a project that allows you to run .NET code written in C Sharp on microcontrollers like the ESP32. Now, when it comes to IoT, I probably couldn't put it better than the official .NET Core IoT documentation, which says that we want to establish a rich set of quality .NET bindings to make it straightforward to use .NET to connect devices together to produce weird and wonderful IoT applications. So if you'd like to create something weird and wonderful, such as the next Spot the Dog, using IoT and maybe a bit of ML.NET machine learning thrown in there for good measure, then check out the IoT and .NET Core links in the description below. So there are five cool things that you can build with C Sharp. We had games with Unity, mobile apps with Xamarin and .NET MAUI, web apps with ASP.NET Core and Blazor, machine learning with ML.NET and IoT and robotics with the .NET Core IoT libraries and the .NET Nano framework. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you next time. Amy Landino, you'd be proud. It's lemon water. Should I say lemon water?